David Menzies for Rebel News here in Thunder Bay, Ontario. And folks, I'm with Arrow and Carol Jensen. They live here in Thunder Bay. And on July 15th, they came here to the Intercity Shopping Centre. And you're just to do a little bit of shopping. And then what happened? Uh, then we uh, went to go sit on the steps. And within minutes, the security guard had come up. To us. Security guard said that we couldn't be sitting on the steps because it was uh, against the law. Now, now Arrow, um, the reason why he was saying that, I, I suppose, is that the food court was still closed down due to the Wuhan virus. It hadn't reopened yet. And I guess they didn't want people loitering around. But you are dealing right now with prostate cancer. You get tired. So you weren't there to, I don't know, camp out. You were just there to take a little break before you resumed your journey into the parking lot. He had no empathy at all for your uh, predicament? Nothing. He just um, was targeting Carol. And I said about the mask, and I said, that's the worst thing you could be doing is wearing these masks. I mean, you're cutting off your oxygen. And I said, and I need all the oxygen I can get, you know, in my condition. So then we got up and we started walking out. And as we were coming towards the exit, I was walking ahead of them. Apparently he had uh, hollered out to Carol that, well, Merry Christmas. And he said that we were banned for life, the two of us. And he said that we have to uh, vacate the premises. And we just said, that's fine, we're, we're leaving now. And we proceeded to uh, cross the, into the parking lot to head for our vehicle. Now, surely this must be the end of the story. Oh, but there's another epilogue because you went to your new uh, Buick SUV and you were, and it should be noted folks, uh, you have a handicap parking sticker, you are parked in a handicap space. And lo and behold, that security guard was not done with you yet, correct? That's correct, he wasn't done with us yet. Okay. I had the door open about this much and they came from behind me and slammed the door closed and threw me against the vehicle and then put handcuffs on me and told me I was under arrest. And then I had been saying to him, call the police, call the police, because I was, you know, trying to, you know, get away from, from it, eh? And I got thrown against the vehicle, I don't know how many times, and then because I got thrown this way and I got thrown this way. Certainly these must have been very powerful throws. There was $2,500 worth of damage done on your vehicle, wasn't there? Yes, there was. Oh, and there is an epilogue to what is already an awful story regarding what was meant to be simply a routine trip to the mall. Namely, when police arrived on the scene, they charged, they charged Carol Jansen with assault. A security guard claims she spat on him, an allegation Carol vehemently denies. So let's see what the surveillance cameras have to say, right? Well, folks, apparently that footage does not exist, even though there was a camera situated just a few meters away from the altercation. Interesting. In any event, here's what you had to say about a shopping trip that was memorable for all the wrong reasons. Aikaru Midomia writes, Mall security is not allowed to have physical contact with anyone. It's not in their jurisdiction. This is 100% illegal, and I hope they get sued and arrested. Well, Haikura, first of all, all of the allegations have to be proven in a court of law. That hasn't happened yet. But it does not look good that the mall administration won't even return our phone calls. And we do want to hear their side of the story. As for no video footage, hmm, <laughs> my spidey senses are tingling on that one. Beck Durham writes, malls are a dying thing. Don't go to the malls. No need for them anymore. Well, you are right, Beck Durham. Traditional retail outlets are struggling these days, including the Intercity Shopping Centre, which has lost a few key anchor tenants in recent months. Now, I don't want to see anyone go out of business, and I don't want to see people lose their jobs. But for security to allegedly take such a heavy-handed approach on paying customers? Wow, <laughs> that makes no sense to me. CDXX writes, my cousin is a nurse in Thunder Bay. They haven't had a case in weeks. Well, I'm not sure what the most recent stats are, but I do know that Thunder Bay is certainly no hotbed for the Wuhan virus, perhaps because the city is so remote, which makes the alleged behavior of those security guards all the more bizarre, really. 
as they were allegedly lashing out in the name of pandemic safety. Weird. And who knew that sitting on a staircase was a pandemic faux pas? Ross Allen writes, LOL, security believes they can confiscate cameras. Police need a warrant or a subpoena. Yes, folks, Ross is referring to what happens later in the video when a security guard takes umbrage to us filming in the mall and actually threatens to confiscate our equipment. Um, good luck on that. And what a happy vibe at the Intercity Shopping Center these days, eh? And Acost writes, if they had a BLM shirt, security would have given them a trophy. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe we certainly do have a two-tier justice system these days. So maybe it's a pruned idea to wear a BLM t-shirt, even if you don't subscribe to the ideology of such a radical Marxist organization. After all, maybe this apparel can serve as a get-out-of-jail-free card. Said, folks, if you want to uh, kick in some contributions to Fight the Fines, please go to fightthefines.com. And because, uh, Richard, this is an important case. This is an egregious story. And we just want to make sure that we can raise uh, the funds necessary so that you can bring justice for the Jansons. Absolutely. And thank you very much, David. I just want to say thank you to everybody out there who's contributed to the Fight the Fines movement. Uh, this is a, a very important cause, especially in light of the pandemic hysteria like David is talking about. There's a lot of people like Carol who are suffering because of this craziness.